Stress tends to trigger depression and anxiety for me. Daniel Call may look familiar. He's an El Paso Independent School District trustee, has two small businesses, and the father of five children. Like a lot of people, you know, I've, I've struggled with anxiety and depression on and off during my life, but uh, during COVID, it, it, uh, it got significantly worse. So coming out of COVID, I was, I, I was just desperate and I was looking for something. And Call tells me he tried everything, multiple medications and therapy. He says some of that worked, but they were only a temporary fix. By his own admission, it's, it's he was in a dark about. place, so about. dark I mean, he hates talking or even thinking about real, it. Real there was days when it was, it was bad. Mm -hmm. It was bad. So he turned to this. Transcranial magnetic stimulation. Back in 2008, it was considered groundbreaking therapy approved by the FDA. Transcranial magnetic stimulation involves magnetic pulses that go through the cranium and they stimulate the frontal lobe so that the neurons begin to communicate and function the way they were originally set up to do. Ariano explains no electricity runs through the brain. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of a brain. One shows just a part of the brain lit up with dark shadows. Ariano says a normal brain is one where a major part of the brain is lit up. Those are neurons sending information throughout the brain. As for the darker brain? The neurons are not communicating to, with each other, and consequently, people feel depressed, low, low energy, motivation, can't sleep, overeat, etc. Essentially, what this treatment does is it reconnects one neuron to another. I had to feel the treatment for myself. Ariano and his assistant measured my brain and mapped out which part would receive stimulation. This is what my brain looks like. But before we started, I had to ask. Does this have any side effects? Excellent question. There are no side effects other than maybe a little bit of discomfort or a headache. That being said, the treatment began. I heard and felt zapping on my head, coursing through to my jaw, then a tingling sensation in my teeth. I felt no pain. I underwent 11 minutes of the magnetic stimulation. But Ariano says a typical patient like Call undergo 33 treatments spread out through multiple weeks with an average of 19 minutes of stimulation apiece. But the beautiful thing is that after 36 treatments, it stays like that. Meaning no more medication and no further treatments. Ariano says the cost is around $7,200, but is covered by just about every insurance plan. But knowing what I know now, I would have paid out of pocket for it. It, it doesn't matter how much it, it costs to me because I got my life back and I would pay any price for that. Now, Call says he pinches himself, making sure he actually feels well and is no longer in a dark place. More importantly, family and friends see the difference. Before TMS that I just felt like garbage and I didn't feel like doing anything. And, and obviously that, that, that state of mind is gonna affect the quality of, of your work and affect the quality of your, of your you know, relationships with your family and friends. And, and uh, now, that I, now that I feel better, I, you know, it's game on. Saul Sainz, ABC7.